welcome to The Archer's Choice. This week on The Archer's Choice, we're hunting down in Kansas for whitetails with Flint Hill Adventures and Rocky Outfitters. And one of the things that is unique about Kansas and right today it's is a little windy the out wind. There. I mean, it's always blowing wind. And the other thing about Kansas... And it's I, not coming out of you all the time. Not, oh. Oh. That hurt. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You know one of the things I like about Kansas? You could watch your dog run away for three weeks. It's just, <laughs> it's just open prairie. It, it, it's flat. You have a couple little river bottoms with a little bit of hedgerow timbers, and that's and what we were hunting. that's what drives everyone to Kansas is you have all this open land. It goes down, bellies down into these small timbered ravines, and look out. You are in deer hunter's and, and this year, when we had gone down there, we're middle of November, and the weather was not really no. helping us out. We had really warm weather. Winds, we had cold lightning, weather, thunder, hail, fog, fog, lots of fog. And I tried to put Vicky up in a higher stand because of the lightning, me. but it didn't work. Yeah, thanks, thanks. But I think it was the second day out. Yep. And that's when we had we had a really unique opportunity with my hunt. In fact, let's just show it and check it out. Check it out. Vicki and I headed out with Rocky Outfitters and Flint Hill Adventures this past fall in Kansas. This hunt is run as a do-it-yourself style hunt, like the one we went on last year where Vicki and I both had super hunt. And this season was no different. Yes, the weather was not what we hoped, from severe thunderstorms to high winds and then really warm weather. You know, somebody upstairs was trying to tell us something. Kansas known for its quality of deer. Once again, prove to us it's a place we want to go back to every season. With its rolling hillsides, large tracts of prairie, and lowland river bottoms, hmm, this land was created for the whitetails that call this home. And with a little know-how and luck, you just might be able to put your Kansas tag on one of their Kansas country whitetails. Even with the bad weather, we had to change our tactics and get more aggressive on our hunting setups. Due to the inconsistent weather and high winds, we moved in close to the deer, real close. And the results? Well, <laughs> proof is in the pudding, and we're eating well. Believe it or not, <laughs> I think Vicki and I are in the right spot at the right time. Check out the rest of her hunt. This really nice buck comes out, chasing a dude over there. Didn't want anything to do with us because he had the real thing. They left. We're sitting here. 
It was clear when we came out here. There was no fog. The sky is blue up above us. The moon's right there. All of a sudden, as the sun hit the horizon, this fog rolls in, and it was thick. beautiful buck like we said he came in this morning in the fog just a beautiful beautiful deer he probably went about 70 yards 80 yards maybe he went a little further than than i thought he would have but he's down my shot was right there and we're hunting here with flint river <laughs> flint hills adventures and rocky niles rocky outfitters and wow what a beautiful kansas buck that away girl that was pretty exciting you know what's cool is i mean it was like like the the monster from the deep lagoon. It was foggy. Things oh, were just. Oh, it was kind of creepy out there, actually. Yeah, it was. But yeah, it was. That's what it's. It's, it's all about. Oh. I mean. That that buck. He showed up out of nowhere. I mean, the fog was so thick. I mean, we couldn't see what 15 no, yards. No. If and I that. mean, you know, what's wild is, in all hunting situations, it's either capture the moment. Yep. Or see you later. Yep, and with and the way the weather was, the way the weather was, we we made it work, and it was. A, I'm pretty excited. I mean, he had some pretty good tall yeah. time length on him. Now, too. remember what I'm saying is, I'm giving her credit. She she made it work. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to Galen. Yep. From Flint Hill Adventures, and he's gonna give a little bit of an idea of, of how he runs his hunts and the terrain. Right, which is pretty cool, and it gives a better understanding of of how it makes it more affordable mm -hmm. for us, the average guy, you know, pe people to go out to Kansas and in these different states and hunt. Check it out. Uh, our hunts here in Kansas are a little different than most people's. Uh, there's a lot of guided hunts out there for four or five days. Uh, we don't think that's enough time for you and uh, we enjoy people having the joy of hunting. So we offer a 10 day semi-guided hunt and uh, by semi-guided we're here uh, with maps, scouting information and uh, backup if you need it. But pretty much you get exclusive access to your area for 10 full days. You get to hunt how you want, the way you want, and um, uh, you get exclusive access to that area uh, during that time. And you're the only archer or group of archers to hunt that area all year. We only run one bow hunt. Well, primarily we hunt uh, uh, the creek bottoms and uh, timber fingers that run through the grasslands. Uh, we do hunt uh, quite a few river bottoms. Uh, uh, a lot of times we'll set up in, a, in the end of a finger in a funnel area as it runs down uh, where the grass will open down into a finger area and it funnels the deer down into it and depending on the wind we'll set on either side of that and uh, uh, we catch the deer as they come down into their funnel areas either into their bedding, water or uh, uh, feeding area. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now I took my buck in Kansas. Yes, you did. And, and it, went, it came by and went really quick. And then the rest of the time that we were out there, we were hunting with you, trying we to get great you a deer. Encounters. We had The weather was iffy all the time yeah. for us. But we did have one unique encounter that, I mean, was a real good learning experience for us. Was that buck the that came across the down our trail. Right. You know, we figured we, we had it. We came down. We crossed this creek where we didn't think they were crossing. You know what I mean? Right. And lo and behold, this buck come down wearing rubber boots, our scent lock clothing. Our, Ceno, our HS sent away spray. I mean, everything. Everything. And that, that buck. You talk about a learning tool? Check this out.
sprayed it down with our center waist. We got rubber boots on. You could get away with them hearing you. Get away with them seeing you. You will never, ever get away with them smelling you. And that buck smelled something that came down that trail just recently. We got busted. Now that was a really unique encounter there. I mean, I mean that you know you know what what's crazy there or what's great about that situation is a lot of people don't see what really happens in the wild. There is positive proof. You, you do everything you possibly can, but their noses, you can't beat them. No, you can't beat them. And I mean, just to watch it because it was in the open and we could see it rather yep. than being it in the thick brush where you couldn't see it. So we, you know, but that was one of my favorite encounters. The next one is, it has to be my favorite encounter. Which one was that? The one where that beautiful tall buck comes in and you missed. Don't show that. Yeah, come on, no, check this one out. Change the channel. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Ralph, what happened? Well, Vic, you know, sometimes you just have like a window of opportunity. I a mean, window of opportunity. a small window. Yeah, and you hit the edge? Is that what yeah, happened? I hit, I hit the framework. You hit, you, you hit the framework that of your branch window? branch just sent my arrow. Okay, Boom. well, just so everyone doesn't think that you can't shoot, we're going to go into this next hunt. You know, this next hunt is unbelievable. We talked about having it fast. Opportunities, you have to seize the moment. Right. Hit the horns, we're rattling, and we had one buck in a far distance, and the next we thing I watching, realized, yeah. right, realize is I see this good buck running down oh, the hedgerow the along the, I mean, along those tree line right to us, and it was like, oh. Yeah, there's, there's not a whole bunch of pre-roll on this buck, but it, it was a lot of fun. But this is real hunting, and this is where you, you better, <laughs> You better be prepared for any situation at any given time. And when you're using that rattling or using your grunt call, things can happen awful quick. Check this hunt out.
we had no time for nothing. You know, this, this ain't staged. This is true, honey. He come right underneath us. I mean, almost right here at the base of that giant cottonwood. And he, well, he looked and he saw us. Vicky's swinging around. I'm, she's telling me, I got to move, I got to move. So she could see the buck. So I'm leaning out. He caught the movement. He jumped. And he's, the decoy held him. I'm running right here. He saw the decoy. He come out. He got right on this trail and went. Because Vicky, we were trying to position to get him on camera. So he jumped and here he is. What a nice widespread buck. <laughs> oh man. What a good looking deer. Okay. Congratulations. It wasn't the most picture perfect shot, but I no. mean, we were caught in the moment. Things happen so fast. And I come to full draw, you made me move. Well, the thing was, is the cottonwood that we were you filming out of made me move. was so big that I could not film around the I was into the, the zone. Side. I was into it. And, and I ended up having to make me. him move out on his tree stand a little further. And that's what happened. You know, and the other thing is, is when he caught our movement, our decoy, our secret decoy, you know what I mean? Ended up turning around and kept that deer from leaving. Mm -hmm. And gave me the opportunity that I needed to do. Yeah, so we we did got we got lucky. Oh, I yeah. should say you got lucky. Well, and I'd rather be I'd mine. rather be lucky than good any time. And it was bigger than Vicky, so hey, <laughs> I had a great hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll give it to you. Thank it was you. a good time. It was a good time. We want you to remember that we're always having fun. That's it. It's, and, be, keep it real. You know, forget about the record books. Forget about all the competition. Do it for the right reasons. And I'm going to tell you what. Every time you go the out there, well certain competition don't forget about but the thing is is do it for all the right reasons and get everyone involved because that's what this sport is all about and this is what this sport needs to grow so come back next week same time same channel right here on, on the, the archer's, archer's choice, choice.